Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetree Solar video. And in this video, really, uh, <laughs> oh man, this was this was weird. So I get a lot of requests for people to show me just how bad the spark is on a big 15,000 watt inverter. This is a twin main board inverter. And uh, there's really not too many people have these, so they're kind of curious, you know, how bad's that spark? And, well, it was uh, winter cleaning time, and I decided that uh, I would pull the inverter apart, clean it out, get all the dust out and stuff like that. So I'm getting ready to hook everything back up. <clears throat> and uh, these caps have been discharged for a while. And uh, so I'm going to show you uh, exactly how bad this spark really is. Now, I've already connected the negative terminal down here, and I have two sets of terminals here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and connect these first ones up first. I've already connected the negative, and now I'm going to connect the positive. And this is one of those things where if you don't have a slow dump or you can, uh, like a resistor or something, it does make one hell of a spark. Um, I shouldn't have to remind you to make sure that not only is your fan switch off, but also your power switch off when you're doing this. Just for safety. Of course, now is the perfect time for my uh, furnace to decide it's going to kick on. So anyway, I've got the positive cable right here. And I'm going to go ahead and touch this terminal right here on the very end. You guys are probably going to get a good kick out of this. Um, it's one of those things where I basically just kind of stand back. And here we go. And there you have it. Breathe a little bit of ozone, and uh, now we're all connected. <laughs> I can tell it's been discharged. I've actually had this offline for about two days. I can tell it's been discharged for a little while now. But, um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, now, this might be a good time. Sometimes I use a crescent wrench because... Um, it uh, actually allows me more movement with the inverters all the way here, just based on my situation. But I also have my 18, or excuse me, 17 mil that I use. But what's also important about something like this is you can see how close I am to metal here, metal there, and even the negative terminal on the bottom. If I were to keep on going over, it's always possible that you could accidentally touch the case or touch ground of some kind, and then obviously you'd get a big spark and that's not very good for your batteries. So uh, just keep that in mind. Be real careful when you're hooking these things up. There's a lot of energy flowing through here and I'll torque these down a little bit later, but just verify that everything's working. Inverter's working just fine, which is good. Perfect. Uh, 120 volts out. Yep. Go ahead and turn the inverter off. So there you have it. Um, hopefully that was a kind of an interesting demonstration for you. It can be a little nerve wracking um, when you're hooking up that much power. You could take an incandescent bulb, the end of an incandescent bulb plug, and you could touch this. I have demonstrated this before. Um, these days, I just, just let it rip. I mean, I've never had an inverter that has been damaged because of that, or at least not that I know of. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, I'll go ahead and connect my second set up. <clears throat> I have another negative and positive cable there to go ahead and hook up. That one's a little bit more unusual because this one doesn't reach. So I actually have to bring the inverter all the way forward. That's why I do this side first. Just my situation here. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, fun demonstration there. And, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. GenetreeSolar.com. That's where you find power jack inverters as well as spare parts, replacement parts for your power jack inverters. And if anything's on there or if anything's not on there that you need for your inverter, just hit me up and I'll get you a price on that and get it sent out for you. And, of course, 833-GENETRY, toll-free, where you can get a hold of me, text me. Call me. Keep in mind, I'm on the phone pretty much nonstop all day long talking to customers. I appreciate the customer interaction, but unfortunately, it does make things pretty busy. So if I don't answer right away, just uh, 
listen to my dogs and cats uh, chase each other around. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, take care.